Greetings ladies and gentlemen and those who've been watching my videos, welcome back to the gameplay of Eliza. We have been into the, I don't know how many days it has been since the first episode or something, well I mean, I'm talking about the in-game stuff, um, but we've dealt with, I need to count this bit, hold on. Five clients and holiday Duran right here. Is it Duran or Durand? I have to say it as Durand in my case because I already just kind of taste it, but <laughs> no disrespect, so by the way. Um, yeah, for from her looks of it, I don't know, maybe this is gonna be something a little bit more heartwarming or something from holiday to run here, but. Uh, here goes our sixth client or something because my elite has visited uh, We have become my elite's proxy for twice to for twice now. Yeah, and um, Well, at least she's gonna come back actually or, or so what I feel of it. I Hope she's going to recover real soon though because I I'm going to feel a little bit more Bad if it were not to be the case with uh, holiday to Wait, hold it, run. I'm talking about. Hold on a second, sorry. I'm talking about my elites, yeah. Alright, let's get on to it. Hello, Holiday. Hello, Holiday. Hello. You found the place okay? Uh huh. Yes, I did. The 13 goes right up from Belltown. <laughs> It's a dollar with a reduced fare permit. Oh. That's good. I'm glad. Nice. That's good. I'm glad. All right, here we go. Discovery face. So what brings you here today? Oh, nothing in particular. I wanted to see what all this fuss was about. This is not the reporter that Ray was talking about, right? I'm pretty curious about this person. I hope this is that this one end in trouble, but oh god, my pessimism self, get away from my bed, please. I'm not crazy, no, not even mentally disturbed. Okay. You see those people yelling on the street late at night? They're the ones who need counseling. Huh. They need more than counseling, probably. Me, I'm doing fine. My mind's still sharp. I smoke dope. It helps. <laughs> the music plays. I'd have it more often, but it's all expensive now. Everything's expensive now. Oh. Uh. There's a nice young couple in my building, though, and they're always sharing, which is nice of them. <laughs> I think they do something with computers, though. I sure don't know what it is. When I moved into the building where I am now, it was $300 a month. Can you imagine? <gasps> $300 is 7.2 million rupiah or something in my current uh, currency. That's expensive. That reminds me with my old torment uh, back at my university. Holy hell. They want to tear it down, of course, the property developers. They already got the building on the corner next to ours, even though it's supposed to be on the historical register. It was going to be added, but there was some delay or something, and then, bam, it's gone. They did some kind of backroom deal with city council, probably. Someone ought to do a big expose, I tell you. Conspiracy theory? Why do you think someone ought to do a big expose? Oh, it's rotten all the way up and down. With the new construction going on everywhere, it's just a mess of money and politics. Hmm. It's always like that, but lately, it's happening faster and faster. Seems like a really bad era to be in indeed. I can hardly recognize the place anymore. Every day, I wake up and look out the window and boom, there's another new building going up. Hmm. I don't even know why they need so many. 
You ever see those buses they have? I don't mean the metro. I mean those big white buses with no markings on them. You see these young guys with backpacks milling around, looking suspicious, staring at their phones, and then one of these big white buses pulls up and they get on. Big white buses? Who knows where they go? Bellevue, Redmond. It's like a secret transport system just for them. Redmond, she says. No, Redmond is what I would say, but it's interesting. Um, fuck up there for a bit. I tried talking to one of them once or twice, but they don't want to talk to someone like me. Oh. They don't even talk to each other. Ooh. Imagine going through the trouble of living in Belltown and then ignoring everything around you. It's an odd thing. It really is. Yeah. Let me ask you, Eliza. Oh, your name is Eliza, right? Oh, boy. Yes, my name is Eliza. I'm a digital counselor. Eliza, do you ever do past life regressions on your patients? Whoa! That's a question, huh? So, I'm going to give a little bit of backstory of what I know about past life regressions. It's basically where the counselors will calm yourself down, uh, sit, uh, usually they will actually sleep. They will actually lay down, relax, and they will tell about, uh, they will prompt you to tell about your um, times when you were still a child. Uh, actually, I think it gradually still from your current times and then teenager children and then they will sell to they will start to ask you uh, actually not ask more like prompt you to tell about you back when you were uh, at your previous lives or something like that and then what about the previous lives something like that uh, it actually exists and it's a really interesting Um, phenomenon to, to talk about there because it actually digs in about uh, one's soul about their previous lives and such. I personally do believe about them, but um, for others who are not really familiar with that, I can understand why they don't want to believe it and. I can respect that, but yes, they do exist in real life, and I've encountered some of them uh, in some sort of practical stuff or something. Yeah, it's interesting how Eliza actually managed to bring that phenomenon in this game. So I'm still kind of taking it back here. Anyway, we really should continue. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't. I'm proud of the static question. Interesting. I mean, of course, of course, they're not gonna talk about that. That's gonna be the other counselor stuff and not this one. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't understand the question. You know, past lives. You hypnotize someone and you get them talking about how they used to be a duchess in a royal family in medieval times or what have you. Yeah, this is one of the examples. <laughs> Ooh, Eliza completely doesn't understand. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't understand. <laughs> I was just kidding, I don't expect that, no. <laughs> oh my god, Holly Duran is gonna test Eliza, I believe. <laughs> She's just coming in to raise these questions to, to, the, uh, to the system. It's just... Quite a curiosity there, lady. They don't do that kind of thing these days. When I was little, it was pretty common, at least for a certain set. There was the drug culture, the Buddhists, the Hare Krishnas, all kinds of things. Hare Krishna is rather new for me. Interesting for her to talk about it. My mother warned me to stay away from those types. She has the right to say about it. 
She said someone might come up to you and say, Oh, I can sense there's a problem with your aura. Want to see if we can fix that? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they, they do exist, especially... Oh man... You know about those two sides of coins. Yes, they do exist in this kind of counseling uh, sessions or those uh, practitioners. Yeah, that's that's more like it. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh my god. And then the next thing you know, he's trying to have sex with you in the back of his van. Yeah. Oh no. I'm just gonna mention their abbreviation. AK back in India I think it was something about the earliest of the 20th century yeah that was a booming case wasn't it Ooh. I believe that might have happened to her at some point her mother is what her saying oh dear I'm not sure everyone was like that but you had to be careful same as today I suppose yeah yeah she has a point those counterculture types would hang out on the university lawns because they were safe from Seattle police there. That's what she told me. Ooh. Love her tone there. Apparently, it was a lot like Golden Gate Park, you know, in San Francisco. Can you imagine that? We're a world away from that time, that's for sure. Hmm. <laughs> Already entering the challenge session. If you have a specific problem you'd like to talk to me about, please go ahead. Because why in the world are you coming here if you're not talking about your problem? And you already like paid for this session, so... I guess here you are answering your own curiosity. Trying to dig in something that you can probably rise in some sort of newspaper article or something. I mean, hey, how are you doing? If you have a specific problem you'd like to talk to me about, please go ahead. <laughs> it's okay to tell me what's on your mind. Oh, well, um, you got anything for pain? Specifically, it's my shoulders acting up again. That's... Okay. Okay, I was about to assume so quickly there. Uh, it, it was meant to be a doctor stuff and not psychological stuff, but then I remember mind, body and soul, those two, three connect to each other. Uh, I mean, there could be a reason why she mentioned about the... Uh, her shoulders in pain could be related to her psychology stuff. Uh, I like called probably did dig in about this stuff. I don't know. I don't know. We will see. I had some information with them a few months ago, but it settled down. I'd go back to the clinic, but I don't want to pay the copay again. Just for them to tell me the same thing they always do. Oh, you're so gonna be disappointed. Maybe. Uh, in Eliza. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. What's going on here? I'd rather talk to you. You're nice. You listen. Oh, wait. I thought I clicked that. Thank you. I did my best to listen to my clients. Thank you. I do my best to listen to my clients. See? That's what I like to hear. Oh. Okay, holiday. Okay, holiday. Oh, uh, the intervention phase. What? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. All right, all right. It's probably something about reducing uh, shoulder pain. I, oh god, I don't really, I don't really research of this stuff, but uh, that could be likely be true. I recommend asking your doctor or psychiatrist about fortiprene hydrochloride. Based on my analysis, this medication might help you feel better. You will get a reminder to check in with us in a few weeks. Oh, I don't think I've heard of that one before. It's a painkiller? I'll try anything once, I suppose. <laughs> Smoking dope is still my go-to for this kind of thing, but if it can help with my shoulders, then I'm interested. Smoking dope, huh? I see. 
We hope to see you back soon, Holiday. Sure, I'll let you know if it works. What was it called again? Only oh, Music Place. Oh! <sighs> Oh, that's not good. She asked a freaking question. She should have answered it. It's not done yet, though. Thank you for speaking with Eliza, your personal counseling partner. What was the medicine call? Forzapram? Oh, no. I think that was it. I can ask about it at the clinic. Decent enough place. <sighs> One time I had a doctor there who was very rude to me, though, young man. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Right. I suppose I ought to let you go now. You got other people to speak to, it looks like. Staying busy. Busy, busy, that's life in this town. Oh, here we go. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was weird. That was weird. <laughs> what the hell? I gotta, I gotta tune this in. The charger, I mean. Whoa. Well, that was an odd one. <laughs> Some of what she said confused Eliza or Gertim a little bit. Yep, yep. Not that it seems to have mattered much. I think that's it for today. Thank goodness. That night I headed to meet up with Soren at the restaurant he picked. Yeah, I agreed. It's much fancier than I expected. Oh, there's the sound effect. That's principal. Ugh, I didn't count on Dixie Spanks. Maybe he'll offer to pick up at the tab, but that could be awkward too. I don't want to create the wrong idea. I love how these things always get complicated. Ooh. Would you like to start with some fresh oysters? I'm not really an oyster person. I'm not really an oyster person. Well, these might change your mind. No? Well. You must come here often. What a lifestyle. Evelyn, I've wanted to ask, what brings you back? Back? Back to the world, the land of the living. I know you were having a difficult time after what happened. Hmm. Sure, uh, I don't know. I guess I thought it was time, finally. Yes, I, I understand. Every trauma takes time. Time to heal, or if not heal exactly, at least to move on. I actually know the background of the reason why Matthew Seiji Burns directed this game and uh, build up the story from there along with a partner of his, I believe. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell a little bit later though. I have no idea about the trauma that Evelyn has, but it would be interesting to uncover this eventually. And taking action is a good way to do that. So I salute you. You want to do his memory right, don't you? His memory. Mm. <sighs> That's not what this is about. Also, from the looks of her face, she's not looking forward to this dinner, actually. Oh dear. Probably made a worse decision on actually accepting Soren's, um... Offer to have a dinner. Who's? Damien, of course. Are you sure you're okay? Damien, huh? Oh, no. That's one of the names that... Nora mentioned before. Oh dear. 
Your reappearance happens to coincide with a critical time for me. As you saw, I've just split with Skanda in a very public way in order to pursue an entrepreneurial path. Presumably, Rainer's found you as well. He did. Yeah, he said he wants to speak with me. It's a war for talent out there. People like you are very much in demand. I'm sure he'll try to make you an offer you can't refuse. Oof. That's why I want you to promise me you won't work for that asshole. Oh boy, I really wonder what's up here. I started at the middle of the story and I'm like, whoa! Asshole, I had no idea you hated Rainer so much. Yeah. What happened? What happened? He came in as CEO, that's what happened. Jealousy? So cultured, all the right credentials, Harvard, Goldman Sachs, all that nonsense. Oh dear, seems like jealousy. A little princeling was never wanted in his life, never known what it's like to suffer. Dear me. You don't get even a little upset at that? You get upset, not me. I do the opposite of what a guy like that wants me to do, just to spite him. Oh, the fire. That's what my instincts say. And my instincts are what led me to where I am now. Standing at the edge of this brand new territory. Direct stimulation, induced dreaming. Oof. Can you picture it? Therapeutic reality delivered right through your nervous system. <laughs> Not gonna expect something there. 1940, January 8th. It'll revolutionize the entire field of mental health. I'm really not inter interested, excuse me. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like everyone's not interested to do that, to hear this right now. Not to mention the applications for productivity, training, entertainment. Imagine the kinds of dreams people would have on demand if they could. I want this one, actually. Hmm. The potential for Michu seems kind of high. I don't want this. She would sound very, very doubtful. Of what he mentioned here. You know what? I'm gonna be neutral. I'm gonna ask him as a friend. We'll see what he's up to. Soren, you're getting ahead of yourself. This isn't the time for slow and steady. The important thing right now is to build momentum. I have first mover advantage here, but only for a small amount of time. Evelyn, I need a chief engineer, and I can't think of anyone oh, better suited than you. Boy. And there's the music kicking in. You could be at the vanguard of a whole new field, and on the ground floor of this extremely interesting and potentially very lucrative business. Listen, I know that things were not always the best in the past, and some of those things may have been because of me. Believe me, I'm aware of my own failings better than anyone. And if you're concerned about working for me again for that reason, I'll, I'll understand. Good. But I hope you're thinking for yourself on this one. I'm sure there are people who are telling you to ignore me, or, or that I have the wrong idea, or that I'm dangerous. Nora kind of hinted that, I think. Whatever you choose to believe, I at least want to offer you the chance to get a demo of this technology. It really does work, and it's really something else. 
The M is interesting. I do wonder if the audio designer actually records at the restaurant to get this like piece of audio. M is always getting me, actually. Won't you give it a try? I'll think about it. Okay. Good answer, Evelyn. Thank goodness. Considering it is all I ask. Soren smiles as if remembering a secret. So, what are you doing after this? After dinner? Yes, tonight is... You remember Nora, right? Did you know she's a DJ now? <laughs> the way she mentions the DJ is a bit funny. Yeah, I did. She's the one who told me about your talk. Ah! Oh, she was there too. I should have said hello. No. No, I don't think she attended. She just told me about it. Well, her show is tonight. If we take a car after dinner, we could get there with plenty of time to settle in. It'd be good to support your old friend, don't you think? I kind of want to go honestly, but no, wait, Soren. So it's gonna blabbery about all this dream-inducing uh, entrepreneur breakthrough thingy. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I wish there is another. Uh, another alternative, but I don't know, man. Oh dear. Okay, maybe I want to choose this one. Why do you want to go? Interesting. No need to be frightened. I mean, I know it's a jouissance, which is. <laughs> which is what? Ooh. Oh, you don't know. What's this? As a performance space, it has a bit of a theme to it. It's pretty tame, really. They take on the aesthetic, but it's not necessarily the whole point of it. It's for people who want the image of the thing, the trappings, without getting in too deep with the real culture. Huh? What are you talking about? What theme? Yeah, I don't know either. Oh, I didn't mention? What the hell? It's sort of, well, there's a little bit of uh, bondage theme there. Oh my god, I'm screaming so bad here. You know, BDSM. I haven't really researched about this. I would kind of love to, but the bondage already is giving me enough warnings about what's gonna happen and such. What the frick, Soren? How do you know so much about this? It's one of my research areas, in fact. Oof. The psychology of S&M is fascinating. S&M? Oh. Okay. What should I do? Oh man! Oh man! I kind of thing isn't really my scene. I'm just gonna be honest. Let's. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, hold on. I will definitely. Okay, actually, give me a bit. Give me a second. Okay, so I actually look at the term BDSM and not gonna mention right here. That sounds very crazy. Oh my god. The S and M part, though. <laughs> Oh my god. 
So like, okay, hold on. I gotta inspect history again. So like, why is Soren talking about this stuff? Like BDSM stuff. Like, is Nora's DJing about that team? I still really don't understand. Is that really the case? can't believe it. I mean, I kind of want to see it for myself, but now it's Soren again. I just don't feel too safe with Soren nearby me. I'm not gonna be a fan of this, but... Uh Soren's really promising about professional approach, right? But I'm just gonna be honest, it's not my scene. That kind of thing isn't really my scene. Come on, this is about supporting our mutual friend, right? What the hell, Soren? It happens to be tonight, so we should seize the moment. Why do you sound so hurry about this? I have a bad feeling if I ended up accepting his offer. What the hell? Don't worry, it isn't a date. Not unless you want it to be. <laughs> no, big no. Soren? Yeah, okay. Mm. I'm working on it, trust me. Soren trains the rest of his strength, likely getting a bit nervous too. Let's go after we wrap up here. Oh boy. Well, I guess we're still going regardless. How is it possible that I feel old and Soren is acting like he's in his 20s? I haven't been to a concert at the club at the dinner in years. Step inside and a blast of warm air hits me. Hello. It's already bustling with activity here. Hmm. I don't see any bonus stuff here though. What was he on about? <laughs> Good question. I thought you said this was like some S and M club. What the hell, Soren? Oh well, uh, they might have taken all of that stuff down since the last I was here. <laughs> Are you sure you're remembering this place correctly? Are you okay, Soren? Actually, would you excuse me for a moment? <laughs> what? I want to talk to those people over there. Soren boys are a group of women chatting with each other at the bar. Are those people you know? <laughs> Not currently, but hopefully I can change that. <laughs> Wait, Soren, I don't know anybody here. <laughs> That's a really awkward tone of Evelyn. He's already gone. Why is he like this? Abandoned the second I walked in, okay. I had to sit here by myself, acting like I'm cool enough to be here by my own. Great. <laughs> Silly Soren! <laughs> oh, freaking hell! Oh, it's already 22 p.m. 10 p.m. Crazy. Meeting with Rainer. Oh, that Sarah woman. Evelyn, you are scheduled to meet with Rainer at 9.20 a.m. tomorrow morning. I will have a car come pick you up from the Queen Anne office. You will need to check in at the front desk, but you do not need to sign an NDA as your old one still applies. Oh. My old one. My old one. That's a special treatment right there. The meeting is, it is expected to last around 20 minutes. Let me know if you have any questions. Senior Administrative Assistant, Skanda, or team determine our deeds, Skanda. 
What time was the mail sent again? Nowhere there. Okay. I'm just gonna play this all there a little bit later. I wanna see what's up here. I wonder how many of these bears are still around. Hopefully some of them at least. What's a good dream to get a place like this? Something strong, I think. Something strong, oh no. Evelyn, don't think of it. The rest setup looks pretty simple. Knowing her taste for optimization, I'm sure she's going to use it very effectively. And that's it, huh? Alright. Mm. You know, I think I'm gonna change my mind. I'm just gonna play the solitaire right now, and uh, I'm gonna continue the episode a little bit after that. Or maybe actually, it's interesting the music stops and this one tune from the app plays immediately after that. That's interesting. All right, yep, solitaire time. Oh man, scream so hard, finally beating Solitaire the expert mode after like 5th try or something Maybe the 6th, I lost count but Overall, just had to fight my inner demon To not comment on what I should uh, What action I should take it was, it was really, really, really tough But finally, we're getting to back into the game after like one hour or something, after beating that uh, puzzle, I'm glad Soren isn't like interrupting me or something because uh, that's totally something that I should do here. Is that all the interactables that I can do? Oh, well, there it is! Finally, the clock moves. Okay. <laughs> Today, January sixth, Ray. Oh yeah, is Rilla really gonna bring us the cookies? I want the cookies. I think that's all the interactables. Let's continue. No almost runs to the table where she sees me. Oh! Evelyn! Yes! Nora! We need ya! Thank goodness I've been rescued. Oh, I'm so happy you came! Me too! Oh my god. After like all the stresses, man, I would I just want to dance my stresses out. Holy crap! Yeah, I ended up here somehow. Yeah, I wanted to support you. Yeah, I wanted to support you. Yay! Happy Evelyn sound. Soren came too, but he just made to chat up some people. <laughs> he totally did. He said he thought this was like an S and M club or something. Uh oh. What? No, it's not like that at all. Where did he get that idea? I don't know. Maybe he just hoped it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he totally did. What the hell, Soren? Ah, who cares? I wasn't interested in seeing Soren. I wanted to see you. Yes. I wanted to see you too. I wanted to see you too. Duh. <laughs> oh, you know what? Not that I think of it. That kind of sounds fake, but. Hopefully, Evelyn really doesn't mind to meet her friend here. I have a little bit of setup left to do. Do you want to come help? Uh. Okay, but you'll have to tell me what to do. Okay, but you'll have to tell me what to do. <laughs> well, it's simple, I'll show you. Okay! Now leads me to the stage area. Oh boy. Wow! There are multiple pieces of equipment connected by huge tangles of tech wires. Look at the setup, I realize I really know nothing about electronic music. Are these modulars? Some of them. The one over there with all the cables coming out of it, that one is a modular. All the cables coming out of it, huh? Okay. They all have cables coming out of them! <laughs> this one? No, the one with the little colored cables on the front. Should I be more specific, Nora? Oh, okay. 
I'm still not sure which pitch of cheer she's talking about. The others are not modular. They're just regular synthesizers. Okay, are you... Is this like, is each one of these going to make a different sound? <laughs> oh my god, no! Everything sounds more cheeky than I expected. <laughs> Where should we start? Nora points towards a small plastic keyboard on the table. It's bright red and kind of looks like a toy. A toy? This is an SH-101. It's really hot. I love the sound. It's useful for piercing leads. You know, noises like that. I use it quite a lot. Um... Piercing leads. Okay. <laughs> Now points to another larger synthesizer. This one is black with brown wood paneling on the sides and silver tiles on the front. Oh boy, I'm gonna suck at this. This is a Moog. You've heard of a Moog, right? I've heard the name, maybe. It's not Moog? Moog. <laughs> I guess I never heard anyone say it aloud. Nope. Moog. Moog. Okay, Moog. Moog, not Moog. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not sure I can handle this all at once. Oh no, don't let me do this, please. Nora doesn't hear me. Instead, she holds up a small white and silver box. It looks like a white pencil case with dials and little blue lights on it. Surely you know about this one. It's a Roland TB303. You know, the acid house sound. <laughs> I heard that, I think. Um, I've heard of that, I think. It's just as well. This is not an ordinary model, of course. <laughs> no points at some words in the front panel. Devil fish. Devil fish. The Devil Fish 303 is a modified, upgraded version of the original. A guy in Australia does it? Oh, they're really awesome. <laughs> After my modification for electronic music here, this is seriously a whole world in itself. Evelyn, why don't I teach you some of these things? Oh boy! It might do you some good to learn something new. You could come over sometime and we can make some noise together. <laughs> Sounds like a fun time. Sounds like a fun time. There are blocks and more cables, creating a spaghetti-like arrangement that stretches across the entire table. Table, not table, what the hell. Alright, that should do it. Thanks for your help. No problem. No problem. Time for me to shake this place into the ground. <laughs> no disappears into the back to get ready. Oh. Meanwhile, Sonny returns for his conversation at the bar, looking slightly dispirited. <laughs> she really, he really expects this to be a S&M stuff. No, no. <laughs> ah, time for the main event. Funny to see Nora like this, isn't it? Oh, she's come a long way from the timid junior programmer I remember. <laughs> Interesting stage name too, Little Sappho. Little Sappho? Yeah, it is. Y you know what Sappho indicates, don't you? Uh, actually, no, I don't, but it just sounds cool. Sappho? What's a Sappho? <laughs> oh, okay, of course you know. That was a silly question. I apologize. Oh, no, no, I'm not. God damn it, oh well. Yes, I chose it wrong. Now comes back on stage, ready to start her set for real now. People are cheering for her already. It seems like she's really got a following here. Nora begins to press buttons on her equipment. For a while, everything is silent. The temperature in here seems to get even hotter. Then, noise begins to flow over the speakers and the crowd cheers begin. Again, sorry. It's harsh noise, distorted. Glitchy. Did you know 
Nora was capable of creating work like this? I think she was always this way. You just didn't see it. <laughs> Soren can't stop a weird smile from forming on his lips. Oh, that's... Uh-uh. Maybe it thinks I can see him in the dark, or maybe it's just lost in the moment. I thought she was wonderful before, but but now she's amazing. The music builds with huge stumbling noises. It's chaotic, but has a certain logic to it. It feels like Nora is leading us somewhere. The anticipation builds and builds. Oh. That stops. Then it happens. Oh god, totally without warning. That is loud as hell! Oh uh, wow, Nora. Goodness. This bass is really intense. I forgot why I don't go to concerts anymore. It feels like it's going through my body. i putting my sternum like an instrument. Oh boy! It's a slow beat. Measured, but there's something about it that feels sensual. Whoa, Nora popping up, or something like, Whoa, that's crazy! That kind of expression, Phil. Or maybe you should say, Horny. Oh, damn. Yeah, this is just it's just loot somehow. <laughs> what kind of dialogue is this? How can a piece of me music feel so dirty? It sounds like a robot sex groin or something! Evelyn! Now looks busy operating her equipment. That's weird lines, man. I have no idea what she's doing to create sounds. It's cool though, what the hell? Every once in a while though, she glances at the crowd, a smug curl on her lips. Uh oh. Why do I feel a bad feeling? Then she looks in my direction with the same smirk. What the hell? Her eyes seems to ask me, so what do you think? But as I met as I made her case, I'm too overwhelmed to send any particular message. It's loud. I can't think of anything except that it's loud. I feel like I'm dissociating. Is this why people go to concerts? To feel like you've been obliterated by sound. God, I I I think I'm gonna put a warning sign at the beginning of the spot, probably. <laughs> it's not a bad feeling. Some of the people in the club really do look like they're in a trance. This is pretty amazing. I really had no idea Nora had this kind of energy inside of her. I remember she was a good programmer, someone who wanted to do a good job. But this, this power, where did they come from? The noises crash together, collapsing on top of each other, yet they still make sense. The crowd is dancing, united, electric. Somehow, somehow I feel like Nora is running me ragged without even touching me. Interesting saying, Evelyn. I might need a third drink. <laughs> She's totally getting that, huh? As the performance wins, wins on late into the night, I stop trying so hard to process what's going on and just let this happen. I'm fine. I don't always need to understand what I'm hearing or seeing. It's too big to not interpret anyway. Soren disappeared at some point. I don't care. Everything is churning, sloshing, washing over. Are you okay, Evelyn? I feel you're, get you're gonna get drunk again. Referring to Nina Woods experience. A wave breaking breaking into rock shore and dash into mist. Oh all the back. Wait. Where is this? Oh it's home. I'm not sure how I got here. Good that I'm here though, right? Here in bed. Oh god, I swear Soren. Okay, wait, I remember now. I took a car. Everything's fine. I guess I did it then. I went out and did a thing. 
That was fun, I think. It was nice to see Nora. I don't think my buddy is very happy with me right now, though. <sighs> I think I'll just close my eyes and rest for another second before I get ready for bed properly. Have you seen your surroundings? Is there a real no sore in there? <laughs> I just don't feel comfortable. Chapter 3! Werner's assistant meets me at the reception area with an impassive look. She leads me through the building towards the center. Everything is glass and steel. Clean and bright. Employees still, employees still curious glances at me. <laughs> Maybe they're familiar after all. Am I a curiosity to them? It's hard to believe this used to be my whole world. Eventually, we come to a conference room where Rainer is finishing a meeting. The noises get louder too, interestingly. Oh! Evelyn? Oh boy! Uh, hmm... Do I want to... I think I'm gonna continue the episode from this point because this is gonna be a serious talk. Thanks so much for everybody. Uh, looking forward to chapter 3, we're gonna have a real talk with Rain over here. That Soren apparently really hates. I don't know about Nora though, but uh, these folks, we're gonna have a really important discussion with them. Uh, that kinda looks like a camera, isn't it? Or is it just, is it just a... Mm, I don't know, device thing. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks everybody, I will see you in the next episode. Take care.